Hello everyone, Lois Frankel here, one of your members of Congress, and I have some very distinguished guests here this morning. You got Lori, Senators Lori Berman and Tina Polsky, Jonathan Brown, who runs the Housing and Economic Development Department here in Palm Beach County, Chris Richmond from the Floridas for Honest Lending, and our very, very special guest is Monica Figueroa, a local mother of five who's going to share her story with us today. So uh, last year, uh, with the leadership of Joe Biden, congressional Democrats passed the American Rescue Package. We got shots into people's arms, money into people's pockets. We saved millions of businesses. And as important today, we're going to talk about what we're doing for the homeowners of America. Uh, look, we, we recognize how important it is to have a home. It's not just a place to sleep, although that's good to have a place to sleep and have a roof over your head. It's a place where relationships are built, where we eat our family dinners, where our children do our homework, and where we can feel safe from the rest of the world. And uh, so uh, here we're going to talk about how we can help people, homeowners who are struggling to pay their mortgage, their utilities, their insurance, and even their broad broadband. And I got some great uh, people here who are going to explain how that works, and we'll start with Senator Lori Berman. Thank and you. Lori, well, you'll come up. I, I guess I should say one more thing, which is this. Uh, we put billions of dollars into homeowners' assistance. We're sending over $600 million here to the state of Florida just for homeowners here in, in Florida. There's a new program, and that's what the senator will tell you about. Good afternoon, I'm State Senator Lori Berman, representing Central Palm Beach County. First, I want to thank Congresswoman Franco, her co congressional Democratic colleagues, and President Biden for their leadership and commitment in providing as many families, money for as many families as pos possible to stay in their homes through the American Rescue Plan. The pandemic has been incredibly difficult financially for lots of families and since the start of the pandemic, around 12% of homeowners with a mortgage fell behind on their housing payments. Even before COVID, low-income Floridians paid more than 50% of their income on housing. Florida has the third highest population of homelessness in any state. And just this morning, I was at the opening of our new homeless center in Palm Beach County. So today, we're here to spread the word about a program that can provide immediate relief to families. It's called the Homeowners Assistance Fund. As Congresswoman Frankel mentioned, Florida has been appropriated a whopping $676 million for half. It's administered by the Department of Economic Opportunity in Florida. So what you need in order to qualify for the program. Eligible homeowners must have experienced financial hardship after or that continued after January 21, 2020 and they must be Florida homeowners requesting assistance for their primary residence. The assistance can be used for mortgage payments, utility bills, and even skyrocketing home insurance premiums. If approved, the applicants can expect DEO to disperse the funds directly to their mortgage lenders, their local taxing authorities, property and flood insurance carriers, utility service providers, and internet service providers. You know, Florida now has the infamous title of the least affordable places to live in the United States. We have to reverse course, and we owe it to the hardworking taxpayers in the state. But in the meantime, it's really important for, for homeowners to know about this homeowners assistance fund. And it's important to hear stories like you hear from Monica today. We want people to know that if relief is available. They need to just reach out. Um, we have the phone number for the, if you need assistance, the website is floridajobs.org. And if you need help, call my office or any of our offices. My, my office number is 561-292-6014. Thank you so much for this program, and we're happy to do anything we can to make sure people can stay in their homes. Thank you. Senator? Good afternoon, I'm Senator Tina Polsky, District 29, which covers South and Western Palm Beach County and parts of Northwest Broward County. Um, my colleagues have talked about the program and how important it is, and I want to also thank uh, President Biden for providing so much relief to Florida. 
um, and thank our Democratic Congressional um, Coalition for voting for it. It's, it's so important that we did. Uh, but I want to point out that we've had 23,000 applications thus far to the Department of Economic Opportunity, and only 386 people have been approved so far. Luckily, we have one of them here. Um, unfortunately, DEO has not publicized this program very well at all. That's why we're doing this press conference. That's why we want the press to put it out there. I know that a lot of the stations are covering unaffordable housing here. And so here's an opportunity to really help people who need it. Uh, but it's also important for us um, as state legislators to keep uh, the governor and DEO ac accountable uh, for distributing this money. Only 1% of the amount of money has been distributed thus far. And so we have to make sure that that continues and we hope that you all will make sure that the program is going as it should and that the website is working as it should because we know that there's been a lot of problems with DEO in the past. So um, Senator Byrne and I will stay on top of it. We are going back to Tallahassee in two weeks to talk about property insurance and housing affordability. We'll be discussed there, I'm sure, in a broader context. So we'll make sure that everyone is aware of it. Um, as Senator Berman said, please reach out to our offices or to Congressman Frankel's if you need help accessing this program or if you're not sure if you qualify. But please, to everyone out there, if you are suffering financial hardship in your home, please apply for the program. Uh, we have over $600 million to spend in the state. So uh, we appreciate you getting this message out to uh, our constituents. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Now I'm going to bring up uh, one of our homeowners, Monica. You can introduce yourself Hello, also. good morning. My name is Monica. I am a mom of five and grandma of 11. Hello. And happy belated mo uh, Mother's Day to all the mothers, the single moms, and especially the dads who play both roles. So I am here to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I am so happy and blessed to be able to share my story with you and the experience I have had with the Homeowners Assistant Fund. My family and I have been through so much in the past few years. Excuse me. <laughs> Falling behind in mortgage <laughs> due to loss of income. Since then, I have been blessed with a new job, wonderful co-workers, and an amazing boss. So I decided to apply for the loan modification in hope of keeping my home, where I share so many memories. After submitting my loan modification, I called several times to follow up and was told that my loan was under review, but they could not provide me any additional information. I was hopeful that it would work out for us and patiently waited for an answer. Then one day I received a call from a person who said they worked for my lender and was my caseworker. He told me that I had qualified for a loan and modification and I, was, um, I had to do was pay my escrow that I owed. Uh, me being so excited, I immediately wrote down all the figures, all the information, the steps that I needed to be able to put my loan in good standing. I was on the phone for um, a couple of minutes and then realized that, um, that the information to make the payment and immediately said yes to trying to hold back my tears and joy. Then he proceeded to say that the payment did not go through, but not to worry. They would allow me to go to Walmart and purchase gift cards. This is when I realized it was a scam. So emotionally, oh, no. this was really hurtful to me. Long story short, like I said, it was a scam. I called my lender right away and told them my story, gave them all the information, and even told them how my loan modification was supposed to be approved, and they said it was. After all this, I came home to a letter from my lender and from the courts saying that my home would be in foreclosure. Oh. Today was the selling day. I immediately yeah. started calling my lender and spoke to many <laughs> I'm getting rooms. your hair out of here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry. I called all my lenders and I called the lender, sorry. Excuse me. I immediately started calling my lender, spoke to many reps. I did not get anywhere until I spoke to someone named Alexis. She was a blessing. She gave me so much hope. She told me, do not give up. Call everyone and anyone who will listen because I had to fight for my home. That was all I needed to hear to go ahead and start begin my quest. After reaching out to the mayor, commissioners, and other Palm Beach County officials, they all directed me to the Department of Economic Opportunities, the DEO, website to apply for the Homeowners Assistance Fund. I submitted my application as soon as I heard the information, and I finally am happy to say that my family and I are blessed to have a second chance to keep in our home. Aww. <laughs> 
home of 13 years, a household that has housed so many. DEO contacted me my, by my mortgage and lender, and they are now willing to work with me. The judge oversaw and put the foreclosure and stopped it. So my home is no longer on sale. I am able to keep my home. So my message to the community is don't ever give up hope. Have faith and know that miracles do happen. Believe in God because he will provide and put all the right people in your path to be able to help you. The Homeowners Assistant Fund can help you and your family too. So not only with your mortgage, but with your utility bills, homeowners insurance, property taxes, HOA fees, and even internet. So I encourage you to please reach out to all of them. I have prayed and my prayers were answered. Miracles do happen. Thank you all for helping me to save our home. Thank you okay, so thank much. You. Well, thank you, Monica. Boy, what a, what a story. Just to tell you, it wasn't a miracle. It was, uh, President, <laughs> it, was a, it was President Biden and Congressional Democrats who were sending the money to Florida. But we thank you so much. So we're so glad you're in your home. So now we're going to we're going to bring up here uh, Jonathan Brown. He's Housing and Economic Development Director for Palm Beach County. Uh, where are you, jo There you are. Hi, Go ahead. Thank you, Congressman. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Jonathan Brown, Palm Beach County's Director of Housing and Economic Development. Palm Beach County is a believer of helping families preserve their homes. And so Palm Beach County, working with all state and local and federal organizations, and the White House included, are here to assist families. To date, our programs have assisted over 2,000 families with over $15 million spent, and Palm Beach County is still in the business of helping families. If you need some help, please contact us, 561-233-3600. Thank you. Thank you. And we should mention that uh, the county has been especially helping renters for, for many, many months now. There's still money left in that yes. fund. So renters and uh, homeowners should go on the county line and you can see a uh, web page and you can see how you can get help now we want to bring uh we're going to see we're going to bring from a uh, florida floridians for honest lending uh chris richmond chris thanks for being here thank you so much Congress. and i want to give cre credit to chris for for waving the uh the flag to get us here um good afternoon my name is christopher richmond um i work for Floridians for Honest Lending, which is a nonpartisan, not for profit organization um, devoted to uh, preventing as many unnecessary foreclosures as possible in Florida. The Homeowner Assistance Fund, um, passed as part of the American Rescue Plan, is so vital to that mission. And uh, really, this is just about getting the word out to as many people as possible who may need this assistance. Um, the, some of the figures that um, the Department of Ec Economic Opportunity submitted when they submitted their plan to the Treasury uh, were that they were hoping this money would uh, prevent at least 10,000 home losses through this money, um, at least 5,000 utility shutoffs, at least 2,500 internet shutoffs, and um, at least 10,000 homeowners who can maintain their homeowner or flood insurance through payment assistance. And at least 5,000 tax foreclosures can be avoided. So this, this is real help for people who really need it in a moment where housing affordability is at kind of a crisis level in Florida. So I really just want to thank you so much for your leadership and uh, for our state officials as well uh, for, for keeping our eye on the real issues right now. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so help is here for homeowners, still for renters, to see if you qualify. We've given uh, the information, and take, we'll take any questions. So you said there were 26,000 applications. Do you have those exact numbers? Yes. Yeah, here I we go. 24. The latest numbers are 24,730 registrations submitted to DEO. And then there were only a couple hundred that were that have been approved right now, right? 386. 386. So that discrepancy is that just it, because it takes a while to get these approved, or is, are some of those not going to be approved? Or? Well, I think I think there's been somewhat of a de delay 
Florida was the last state to submit a plan, uh, so the, the money, uh, you know, finally came in, and it's been the program's about two weeks old. So I don't think we can analyze yet what the backup is. But what we would just suggest is anybody who needs help to, you know, move forward quickly. Do you believe that DOE has slow? that the DEO has slow walked this, that, that the governor somehow is not wanting this money spent in Florida, or, I mean, it seems like a pretty substantial gap, and there's crying need as evidenced by the large number of applicants. Is there some political dimension to this, you believe? <laughs> I, I would be speculating. We were the last state to submit a plan. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe you ladies have a better idea. They work with the state, but you know, I I rather be. I'm here with the good news today. And uh, look, we wish the state would have moved quicker, and we'll see. I think we're going to give them the. They've opened the program for two weeks, and let's see how it goes. We're hoping it goes better than the unemployment assistance. Right. Exactly. That's what we. So the money is there. The federal government, we, we've, we've sent the, um, the money and we hope that they'll take advantage of it. So in those two weeks that it's been open, I mean, that many applications have come in. Just speak to the volume, I mean. I think what that shows is the need. And th that, that's without really that much publicity. There, were, there was no, I, I think most people are not aware of the assistance. Now, not everybody's going to qualify. There are going to be... A, so, of course, people have to go through a qualifying uh, a situation. Yeah. How much money is that being allocated for? For Florida, it's six, six, six hundred and fifty. How much? Six seventy-eight. Six hundred seventy-eight million dollars came into Florida. Uh, Monica, correct. Six seventy-six. Sorry. Six Monica, I've got a question for you. So, um, I mean, you're getting emotional. Can you just speak to? I mean, today was the day that your house. Was <laughs> Overjoyed. I am so blessed and happy that I was able to connect with anyone and all of these wonderful people who point me in the right direction because it really is hard to, when you're under that duress, first of all, you can't really think that straight. So searching in the internet with everything that's going on with the fraudulent, like I said, you know, they pretended to be my, you know, lone. Oh. And it's hard, you know, when you're trying to get everything in perspective and you hit all these walls. but. Thank goodness that they have the program and they were able to help me save my home because we've been there for 13 years and we have so many memories, so I'm overjoyed. What town do you live in? Lake Worth. And so for you to put your application in and to get this, you got the answer really quickly. Yes, were I did. Were you expecting that? Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. So to get the turnaround that quickly, I was flawed. I just am still feeling like I'm walking on cloud nine. <laughs> you said you had a job and then you had a job loss. What type of work did you do? I was doing district manager work, and since all the retails were closing due to COVID, I lost my job for almost a year. I was put out of work, and this Retail is what happened. Manager. Yeah. Okay. I lost my job. How did you make ends meet? Well, it's a long story, but we lived without water for four months going to neighbors, bringing in little jugs of water. <laughs> you know, people, friends helped because I've housed so many people, so in turn, they helped me. It was difficult, but you know, you, you do what you can and you just keep it moving, you know? You gotta keep pushing because if you give up, then you, know, you don't go nowhere. So you just gotta keep moving. Or maybe you want you want the qualifications? Who wants to talk? You want to talk about the county's program? Okay, no, you can talk about the county's program. Yeah, sure. Um, so the the qualification guidelines f um, are actually set by U.S. Treasury and and also DEO has submitted a plan that complies with that. But basically, it's a financial hardship um, that happened after January of 2020, so COVID, or one that began before that but continued to, um, after that time. Um, and then it also, um, you only qualify if this is your primary residence. And um, there are some 
income qualifications as well. Can any of this assistance be used for home buyers struggling to find a place to live? I think it's current homeowners. I, I think yeah. it's current homeowners. Yeah. Current homeowners? The, uh, the county. What do you? Uh, the county has a program. So Palm Beach County provides assistance to those who are in need of rental assistance or those who are in need of first, last, and security. So there are programs out there from a county level that can assist with those needs. In addition to the rental assistance, it's also the utility assistance. It's also food vouchers, etc. So again, if you're interested in any assistance as a renter or someone who needs to move because your rental rates now exceed uh, what your expectations were, please contact Palm Beach County's Department of Community Services. Now, the assistance that you just mentioned, is that, that's separate and apart from this $676 yes. million? Yes. Yes, it is. The, yes, it uh, is. Okay. Yes, yeah. it is. And just to know, the, there is an income uh, qualification. It's equal less to 150% of the area median income, which is about 95000 for one person and 136000 for a family of four here. Ninety-five thousand for one person. Yeah, that approximately is that right? Do you have that? I don't have the number. I just have one hundred percent of the. Area. It's one hundred and fifty percent of the area median income. So. And and the eligible property has to be in a census tract with a median median income that is less than or equal to the U.S. area median income, and um, there's if you you're given priority if you're a socially disadvantaged individual or the eligible property is in a Florida economically distressed rural county or city. So it's going to be that's why there's going to have to go through a qualification. You know, I think uh, hopefully, well, you know, what happened with the DOE? There should be people who'll be able to ex to counsel people. Will there be the Bureau group counsel people on this? No, we don't no. have okay. counseling, but counseling is part of the DOE's plan. Okay. So, so, so that there is counseling as part of the DOE's plan, so we'll see. Is there any stipulation attached to this funding for a homeowner who also rents out their property? This is, this is, this will be primary for homeowners. It has to be a primary. It has to be a primary, residence. yeah. He's got his list. That's good. Thanks, thanks everybody.